We're at a critical point in history at the moment because the current economic system has pushed us to the limit of the Earth's resources. We can no longer keep extracting energy. We cannot keep extracting resources from the Earth and expect it to continue to provide life for us and for all other living beings. So why is it important uh, to change the economic system to combat climate, the, the whole climate that we're, we're witnessing? Uh, one is a sense of urgency. We've seen in cities like Cape Town that run out of water. We've seen in bigger, bigger cities the issue that people are facing. Now the urgency is becoming like today, tomorrow, next year. So there's this heightened sense of urgency that pushes us towards a new economic system or thinking about this does not work. What is the alternative that can work? Uh, and what I think is interesting is not so much pointing fingers at saying this is not right, you're not doing things right, but rather giving the alternative to people. There's a better way, there's a more exciting way, there's a great way, you can become heroes of change, you can be part of a majority of people that's slowly moving in a different direction, so why don't you follow? And you're missing out on an opportunity to lead the kind of change that we actually need. So it's not something of, a, of an option or a maybe, it's just really the approach that we decide to make sure that we go in this new direction. There is a key difference between what the new, economy, new economic models are suggesting and the current economic models suggest in terms of how we think about movement and transport. And if I were to simplify it to one word, it would be ownership. At the moment, we are encouraged to own the means of transport. So we own a car, we own a vehicle, and that is the end goal. And then we move it to move, we use it to move around. However, if we change the way we view movement and transport, in that the end goal is to be able to move, then we open our minds to different ways of moving around. And that can involve everything from sharing of cars, usage, to other forms of transport. We could reduce by a factor of tenfold the numbers of cars in our cities. So there's some really great examples in certain northern European cities, Copenhagen, various cities within the Netherlands, which have demonstrated that uh, moving from a car-based economy to a, a cycling as the, the key mode of transport is possible. There has not only been an encouragement and, and, and trying to find ways to make cycling easier, but also to make driving cars more difficult. It needs to be the simplest. As humans, we tend to go for the simplest solution. So we cannot just assume that people will use a bicycle. We need to make it the most attractive way to move around. Mm -hmm.